there's different ways to uh, different techniques when we're doing watercolors. What I could do is I could put a whole bunch of water on the actual paper before putting color on. I'm just going to put on half of the paper, but if I do that, it might tend to curl a little bit, so I can put it on the other half as well. So there's paper on, on this half of, there's paint on this half, water on this half of the paper, and once I put paint there, it makes an interesting effect. It spreads. can wash my brush to get another color. I'm going to keep my brush kind of wet. If I wanted to dry, I could dry it there, but I think I'll keep it a little bit wet. And here I'm loading the brush, stroking the color and loading the brush with red. And then, um, let's see. I think I'm going to change colors again. Change colors again. Wash the brush between colors every time. Let's just say that I, I have some blue on my brush, which I do, and I accidentally forget to wash the brush and I put it in the yellow. Do you see how that then makes the yellow contaminated and green? So what I can do is I can wash the brush again, wipe it, and I can use the brush as a mop to clean up that color. You can dry the brush off and use it as a mop to clean the color up. So it's again pure yellow. If I wanted to use a dry brush, dry brush is simply when you're not using wet on wet. So this would be wet on wet, but I could take my brush and put it on dry paper, and then I have more control over the, over the paint. When you're, um, when you're drying the brush up like this, you can gently stroke it so that the water falls down into the container. Don't go like that because then it tends to splatter everywhere. And when it's time to finish your painting, if you feel like you're done with your painting, I don't know, maybe I'm not done yet, but one thing you always want to do is probably always kind of fill up the space. Don't have a whole lot of neg negative space here, meaning that it's, it's all filled up. And then once I'm finished, I can go ahead and wash the brush really good, wipe it really good, and then dry it. And then I can go ahead and put the brush away. But what I'd like you to do is put the brush in a separate container. Don't put the brush in the box. Put it in a separate container when you're done. Oh, one thing I forgot to talk about is if you wanted to mix colors, you can mix colors by putting it on um, like a little lid or you could even mix colors there. But um, I can get blue and red. Here I have red. And then make a purple color. So there's kind of a purple color that I make with blue and red. So you can mix your own colors if you want to. Again, I, I wash my brush really good when I know I'm done. Wipe it gently and then I can dry it, dry it off on the paper towel.